Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice math problem which is 7 to power x plus 49 to power x plus 343 to power x. This is equal to 155. What is the value of x? Now let's prevent the solution from here. We have 7 to power x plus 49 raised to power x plus 343 raised to power x. This is equal to 155. So we have 7 to power x here plus 49 to power x. This is the same thing as 7 to power 2 raised to power x. Then plus 343 raised to power x. This is the same thing as 7 raised to power 3 raised to power x. This is equal to 155. The next step is that. 7 to power 2 raised to power x. This is in the form of 8 to power n raised to power m, which we can express as 8 to power n, that is m raised to power n. Let's apply this exponent property so that here this is 7 to power x plus 7 to power x raised to power 2, then plus 7 raised to power x raised to power 3. This is equal to 1. 55. The next step from here, we can say let 7 to power x be equal to a. Substituting a here, we have a plus a squared plus a to power 3. This is equal to 155. And given that here, we have that x is a member of real numbers. x is a member of real numbers. So this implies that this is a plus a squared plus a to power 3. Let's take 155 on the left hand side. Subtract 155. This is equal to 0. This implies here we have a plus a squared plus a to power 3 minus 155, which is the same thing as 125 plus 25 plus 5. This is equal to 0. So here we have a plus a squared plus a to power 3. Subtract 125. Subtract 25. Then here, again, subtract 5. This is equal to 0. Now, from here, we have that a minus 5. This is a minus 5 plus a to power 2. Subtract. Now, we can express 25 as 5 to power 2. Then plus a to power 3. Subtract 125, which is 5 to power 3. This is equal to 0. The next step is that we have this part here and this part here. From this part is the difference of two perfect squares, which is a squared minus b squared, which we can express, which we can express as a squared minus b squared. This is the same thing as a plus b, a minus b. So here we have a squared minus 5 squared. This is the same thing as a plus 5, a minus 5. Then we have this particular part here, the difference of two cubes expressed as a to power 3 minus b to power 3. So a to power 3 minus b to power 3. This is the same thing as a minus b, a squared plus a b plus b squared. So this implies that a to power 3 minus 5 to power 3. This is the same thing as a minus 5 a squared plus 5a then plus 5 squared which is 25. Let's call this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Now from here, let's combine equation 1 and 2 
so that now we have a minus 5. Then from equation 1, we have plus a plus 5, then a minus 5, then plus equation 2, which is a minus 5, then here a squared plus 5a plus 25. This is equal to 0. The next step from here is that a minus 5, a minus 5, here is common. We can factor out a minus 5 so that here we'll have 1 plus a plus 5, then plus. Now here we have a squared plus 5a plus 25. Cross the bracket here, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. We have that a minus 5, this is equal to 0. The second part here, we have a squared plus, now we have a plus 5a, this is 6a, then plus, now we have 25 plus 5a, this is 30, 30 plus 1, this is actually equal to 31, this is equal to 0. From the first part here, we find that a1 is equal to 5. The second part here is a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, we have a equal to 1, b equal to 6, and c equal to 31. Now, the next step is to solve for the discriminant value. That is to assess the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value, which is b squared minus 4ac. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c so that we have 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times c, which is 31. So we have that 6 squared, this is 36, minus 31 times 4. So we have 4 times 1, this is 4. Then 4 times 3, this is actually equal to 12. So we have 36 minus 124. So we have 124 and 36 here. So this is 8, 11 here, minus 3. This is actually equal to 8. Then this implies that here we have minus 8, 8, which is less than 0. And this implies that there is no real solution from this quadratic part. Instead, we have two complex solutions. We have two complex solutions from here. Now, let's focus on A1, which is equal to 5. Let's focus on A1, which is equal to 5. Now, if you recall, we end that Right, 7 this to power x be equal to you've seen that let's 7 to power x be equal to a so now given that a is 5 so we have 7 to power x this is equal to 5 to solve for x we introduce logarithm on both sides so we have rock 7 to power x this is equal to rock 5 so rock 7 to power x this is in the form of rock a to power n, which is equal to n rog a. Applying the power root property, we have that rog 7 to power x becomes x rog 7. This is equal to rog 5. So let's divide both signs by rog 7 and also here by rog 7. Now let's simplify here rog 7 and rog 7 so that x is equal to rog 5 over rock 7. So rock 5 over rock 7, this is in the form of rock A over rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. Applying this logarithm property, then we have that x is equal to rock 5 to base 7. So this is the value of x. The next step is to verify. So let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. So if you recall, we have 7 to power x plus 
49 raised to the power x plus 343 raised to the power x. This should give us a value of 155. Let's substitute the value of x. We have 7 to the power. This is wrong. 5 to base 7. Then plus 49 is the same thing as 7 squared raised to the power of 5 to base 7. Then plus 343 can be expressed as 7 to the power 3 raised to the power rogue 5 to base 7. This should give us a value of 155. The next step is that we have 7 raised to the power rogue 5 to base 7. Then plus here, this is 7 to the power. Now we can have 7 to the power 2 rogue 5 to base 7. Then plus 7 raised to power 3, rog 5 to base 7. This should give us a value of 155. So we can express this as 7 raised to power rog 5 to base 7. Then plus, now this is 7 to power 2, rog 5 to base 7. This is a power, so we can express this as 7. Log 5 squared to be 7 plus 7 raised to power. Now this is power 2 so this is rogue 5 raised to power 3 to base 7 this should give us a value of 155 now from here we have that 7 to power of 5 to base 7 all this is in the form of m to power of a to base m which we can express as a let's apply this logarithm property now, applying this logarithm property, then from here, we have 7 log 5 to be 7. This is the same thing as 5. Then plus 7 to power of 5 squared to be 7. This is the same thing as 5 squared. Then plus 7 raised to power of 5 to power 3 to be 7. This is 5 to power 3. This should give us a value of 155. So this implies that 5 plus 5 squared, this is 25. Then plus 5 to the power 3, this is 125. This should give us a value of 155. So 5 plus 25, this is 30, plus 125, this is 155. This is equal to 155. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. So this implies that the value of x which essentially is rog 5 to be 7 satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.